49,900. Now it comes with a 40,000 hard money loan in place. Okay? So, 40,000 hard money loan in place, 49,900 purchase price. You put $9,900 down, you own the house. Now, what I would do with this house is legally it's a 2-1. 758 square feet under here. This back section over here has a converted room. So, my strategy on this house would be to convert this room legally with a permit, make it a fully legal 3-1. Retail, this house is probably worth as a three-bedroom in the 80s. So now run your numbers backwards. You've got a lot of spread in this house. Now this house can work very well as a rental. Not a lot of risk in this house because of the price point, right? What's your payment if you borrowed money? If you borrowed, uh, uh, let's say, that 40000 you wanted to refinance? Where's Phil? 40000 you refinancing. How much did you just borrow at 15, uh, 15, the 15-year? 15 yeah, you said four and four and change, four and eight. Okay, so four and an eighth, and your payment is what? How much a month? About four hundred. Four hundred. And is that including tax and insurance? No. Okay. So you're, you're looking at it, and that was how much? Sixty thousand. That was fifty. Yeah, fifty. Okay. Thousand. So this is a forty thousand loan. So if you borrow strategy here, you, you buy for forty nine nine. You borrow G, and you keep walking from that video. Oh, sorry. Okay. So you buy it for forty nine nine. You put forty thousand down. Uh, I mean, you put ninety nine hundred down. You get a forty thousand loan. You clean up the house. As soon as you've cleaned it up, you throw someone in there, sign them up on a lease, right? Now you go to the bank and you say, oh, your, your appraiser, let's say the appraiser's at 80. At 80, the bank's going to give you 80% LTV loan. They give you back 64000 You pay the lender back to 40, leaves you with 24000 for rehab money. And you do exactly what I showed you how to do in this home study course. So that's why when I look at this house, I say this is a slam dunk. I would take this house just without even doing any further inspection just because of the price. Because it'll work so good as a rental, there's so much I can do with this house. I could sell this house for 99 with seller financing or with a lease option. There's just a lot I can do. Prices are moving up, you know, so I like this house. So one of you guys today is going to buy this house. The question is, who is it going to be? That's the only question that we have, right? So anyone like this house? Anyone want this house? Anyone interested in this house? Can't you said? Forty-nine-nine is the purchase price. Right, but so you have to come up with. 10K? You have to. You're putting ninety-nine hundred down. You're going to get a hard money loan for forty thousand. What do you say for six dollars? How much? If you want to make it a three-one, just all in. I would say that uh, fifteen. Now, another thing as well you need to understand is, is that if you're fixing and flipping, then when you go to sell it, the guy who's buying it from you is going to do an extensive analysis of the square footage and everything. But if your goal is just to be a landlord and hold this for 15 years, like Phil, and pay off the mortgage, then do you really care if it says 3-1 or not? Do you really need to go to all that effort and all that expense?